Hi guys welcome back to the channel, today I'm going to show you how to fix no drive found issue problem during Windows installation. If during the installation of Windows 10 or 11 and you get an error, we couldn't find any drives. To get a storage driver, click load driver. Typically if there is no hard disk for you to select on this screen, you won't be able to install or reinstall Windows. This problem is commonly related to an error in the connection of the device cables or can even be caused because the Windows 10 installer does not have the necessary drivers. But regardless of the problem I'm going to show you three ways on how to fix this issue. With that been said let's get started. Method 1, download the Rapid Storage Driver or Serial ATA driver manually. One of the most effective ways to fix this problem is to manually download the controller driver into a USB flash drive which controls your SATA hard disk drive or NVMe SSD. Without the controller driver your hard disk drive or the SSD won't appear during Windows installation. To proceed with this method and download the driver, Ensure you have access to another functional computer and a USB flash drive. Connect the USB flash drive to the working computer. Open a web browser and search for HP Driver Downloads. Click on the first search result, a direct link will be provided in the video description. Choose your computer model. To download the correct driver, enter the target laptop serial number and product number. To obtain this information from the target laptop, press F1 continuously as soon as the laptop powers on. The laptop information, including the serial number and product number will be displayed on the screen. After inputting the details, initiate the search. On the download page, select either Windows 10 or 11, along with the version. Click on Submit, and scroll down to view the available drivers for the target PC. Download the storage controller driver by clicking on Driver Storage and select the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver RST. Choose No Thanks, I want to download manually to start the download. Once the download is complete, extract the downloaded file to the USB flash drive and confirm the extraction. After confirming the storage controller drivers on the USB flash drive, disconnect the USB flash drive from the working computer and connect it to the targeted PC. Now restart the Windows installation again.
once it gets to this page. Select Load Driver. Choose Browse. Expand the USB flash drive which contains the controller driver which we just downloaded. Select drivers randomly until you find the one that controls and displays your storage drive. Now, click next to load the drivers. Now that the storage disk is recognized, you can proceed with the Windows installation seamlessly. So guys, as you can see here. The Windows is now installing successfully. Let's look at other causes of this problem. In some cases, the problem may be from a malfunctioning hardware device. Method 2, Verify Hardware Connection. If after following the first step and the problem still persists and you are still facing the issue of, no hard drive found, issue during Windows installation. It may be as a result of a missing drive. To troubleshoot this and examine if the hard drive is present in the BIOS environment, follow these steps. Power on the computer and press the F10 key multiple times to enter the BIOS. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the Configuration menu. Scroll down to UEFI Configuration and press Enter. Press Enter once more to display the RST, Rapid Storage Technology, disk. If the BIOS is not detecting the connected hard drive, it indicates a potential hardware issue. To fix this, open the back panel of your computer to physically inspect whether the drive is properly connected to the motherboard. Examine the SATA cable for any signs of damage or breakage, if there is any loose connection. Carefully reconnect the drive back to its position. Attempt the Windows installation process again to verify if the hard drive is now recognized. As you can see, the hard drive is now been recognized during the Windows installation. So a disconnected hard drive could also cause the problem of no hard disk found during Windows installation. Method 3, Verify the Hard Drive. If the issue persists after following the previously mentioned steps, consider the possibility of a malfunctioning hard disk drive or SSD. To troubleshoot this. Replace the current hard drive or SSD with an alternative one dot and observe if the problem is resolved with the new storage device.
Alright guys that a quick guide on how to fix no disk found during Windows installation. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and also leave a comment. See you in the next one, bye for now.